follow the Sports Hub on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. To the sports coma with Big Q and the guys. We're talking boxing, man. The first uh, in the third segment, the last segment that we covered, we talked about Deontay Wilder. Uh, actually, we talked about Parker and Joshua. And of course, we hit him on a little Deontay Wilder. But in this uh, commentary, we're going to spit a little bit more about the Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder potential fight. We'll cover it a little bit. Then we'll get into the comments maybe out about Deontay Wilder about catching the body we also give you some information about triple g whether he will be fighting uh whoever he's fighting he'll go, he intends to fight on may 5th we'll tell you a few of the possible uh competitors against triple g so uh but going right back dc until this uh situation dealing to, to, to the fight dealing with uh, anthony joshua and me and you talked about this all break and uh and many times before leading up to the fight is the fact that the matter is, is this situation you can hear Anthony Joshua talking I've heard all the rhetoric from both sides trust me I do Anthony Joshua well, he was and, yelling uh, about it last time he was, right he was wow, quote, he was kind of, he was kind of making fun of uh, of, of, <laughs> of Dylan chain? White yeah. who who said something similar and 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 we've heard the talks about them possibly fighting Dylan White again uh, because Eddie Hearn uh, is is promotes for him, he he's on one he's on that fight team, and he's trying to do this Don King thing. Listen, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, the bottom line is, and if we got a lot of AJ fans. I I I got love for AJ. I love his style. I think he's a true champion. But if you I do too, if if you're a man out there and you're a true heavyweight champion, don't disrespect Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder. Is the is the is he says it himself? He's the most dangerous man in the game, and I'm not kidding you. He is. Anthony Joshua is. The, I guarantee you that the next fight that Anthony Joshua has is will not be with Deontay Wilder. And I'm sorry to bust the sports fans' heart, but it's just the rhetoric of the promoters, the pro, the promoters, and I'm speaking of Anthony Joshua's promoters. They will not want. They will. They do not want this fight to happen because they will do not want to pair. AJ up against Deontay Wilder right now. They want to be able to keep uh, uh, him doing these fights where he fights lesser guys. You know, you're gonna go and fight Jarrell Miller, who's not even. I mean, Jarrell is a good fighter, but he. Why would you want to go fight Jarrell Miller? Uh, and when you know if you're gonna come to America, you're gonna fight the next fighter. It should be Deontay Wilder because the promoters want to make money. They talk and fight Dylan White. Why should he fight Dylan White? Louis, he Dylan White can't beat Louis Ortiz. Dylan White can't even beat the guy that Anthony Joshua just beat in Joe Parker. He can't beat those guys. And he beat up on Lucas Brown, who's basically a bum, a one-trick one, pick, a one trick pony. So, I mean, these guys, they walk out with the chest, but, but they're not fighting anybody. They're not fighting any true champions out there. You know, and Deontay Wilder would smash Dylan White to pieces, no doubt about it. He would, he would, beat, Joe, he would beat Joe Parker. Parker would not be able to get away from him what he did to Anthony I Joshua. Think Parker would uh, get knocked out. He Deontay would get Wilder. Deontay Wilder would knock out Joe Parker because he, he Joe, got that hand, and, that hand. And do you agree with me that Philly shell. Louis Ortiz would knock out Joe Parker. Yeah, so, I told you, Louis so, Ortiz was a better fighter than Joe. I agree Parker. with it. He's a tactician. He's more of a complete you, fighter. He is a more. He's a better fighter. But that's all I'm saying is that's the commentary I wanted to bring about that. That so and it's already been. Uh, it's already been put out there by Deontay Wilder that the next thing that they're focusing on is fighting everybody around Parker <laughs> so he don't have any other choice but to fight. There's not too many fighters that you can actually fight if you're the champion. I mean, there's less than five fighters that he can actually roll up and say, well, we're going to have this and so be respected. That's, that's Deontay Wilder's uh, Deontay tactic Wilder, is to fight I'm, everybody. I'm telling with... you what he's going to do. That's the only thing he could do is to force him to fight him by beating all of the people around him. I promise you that's what right, he's going to right. do. And that gives you, that'll put pressure from the crowd to say, Andy Joshua, see you running from us. If the man said, you take, I'm going to take 10% or whatever, you could take 90%, and then on the second fight, we'll do, you 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 switch that up, and you take what you want me to take in a, set, in a rematch, and we can work it. And then Eddie Hearn said, that's bollocks. 
that's Bullocks. He's not going to do that. How the hell you know it's Bullocks when you know you're not going to set the fight because you don't want that man to get his ass knocked out? Because so only one Wilder person basically said he would fight almost for free. Fight, he would fight for 10%? whatever, whatever you want. Nobody in the world would say that unless they meant it. Right. You whatever you give, you give me whatever you want to give, and then on the rematch, you take what you wanted me to give on the first fight. Nobody would say that. So I'm saying I ain't saying Joshua is scared. I'm saying his promoters will keep him away from Deontay Wilder Dangerous. until they fight other fighters, and then eventually, after they made some more money. Then they'll come back because he already said 15 million something odd people. So, I mean, let's move on, man. That's my talk. So a lot of people want to know about that. Anyway, let's get into this this uh, this uh, comment made by Deontay Wilder. He's been investigated by the commission for comments that he made about uh, uh, wanting a body. Here's the quote. Quote, I want a body on my record. I want one. I want one. I really do. That's the bronze bomber. He wants one. I always tell people when I'm in the ring like I'm the bronze bomber. Everything about me changes. I don't get nervous. I don't get scared. I don't get butterflies. I don't have no feelings toward the man I'm going to fight. That's, end quote, Deontay Wilder on some comments that he made on uh, a morning show about wanting to catch a body. And, of course, you know, he fought a uh, heavyweight uh, fighter uh, by the name of um, uh, Arthur Spazella. Sp- Spasavalica, whatever his name is, Spafella. and he he knocked him out in, in the ninth round, and uh, he was literally dead for three seconds. So he, he got his body. So he almost so that man almost died in the ring with him, and for him to say that kind of offset something very wrong in a in in the in the boxing world. What's your comments on that quickly? Um, it is very uh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Stupid. <laughs> it's stupid is is one word. It's very insensitive <laughs> as it's well. Stupid man. Um, it's vicious. It's vicious. And, and Deontay Wilder, the dude is a monster, man. I mean, he he, he eats, breathes, lives. He want to take your soul. It all. It's almost like a, a Mike Tyson esque. Don't this sound like something Mike Tyson would say? Yeah, like it's, it's, he, it's, well, he said he want to eat the babies and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, just crazy nonsense. Like he wants to destroy his opponent, literally. But um, I wonder if he just means it in boxing metaphor, or if he's actually serious. I mean, you think he would really be a back alley fighter just so he could punch somebody out and kill? Him? I'm sure if a regular person, he probably could knock him out and kill him. You know, um, I think this dude really gets into his character. Uh, and what he does as a boxer, and he, it's almost like he goes into another zone, man. Where he, he yeah, just he sees red, and he don't see people. It's like you're you are object, and uh, I I want I want your body to like not move. <laughs> uh, it's very very uh, insensitive comment they would say, uh, especially dealing with the fighter that he had. He knocked him out in the ninth round put him on his ass and, and, and damn near killed him. Well, literally did kill him. And, you know, he was allowed by the good Lord to come back to life. But uh, he undertook him. So him saying that and actually being, having and done it and actually having the capability to do it, I could understand why the Boxing Commission yeah, they would come out and, and um, kind of ding him out. Now, they, they, what they are they going to do? Are they going to suspend I mean, him? All He's going to not be allowed to fight for that, so many times. They're going to find him? Well, we have like, to wait to the investigation according to what the reports are. I don't find anything. It's an empty so, comment. Well, I mean, they yeah, could like find him. They, in his, he his could, they could find him a certain amount of money. I don't see a suspension happening here. So, I mean, it ain't nothing like that. It's empty comments, man. Right, right, right. Well, yeah. Uh, let's keep it moving. Let's move into the next topic. We're going to talk about Triple G now. Uh, some news on those Triple G fans and Canelo out? fans. Is that Triple G said that he will fight May 5th regardless of who he's fighting. Of course, Canelo Alvarez is suspended uh, by the Boxing Commission because he failed two drug tests within days of each other. So him being ready for the fight is is, is a low percentage. But according to uh, Triple G's promoters, uh, and I quote, anyone who booked a plane ticket or who was planning to come to Las Vegas for Cinco de Mayo weekend to see Triple G fight, 
don't cancel your ticket because we're planning a Triple G fight on May the 5th, whether it's against Carnello or somebody mm. else. So, Triple G say the hell with that. I did all this training. I'm, I'm going to fight somebody. Exactly. So a part of it means that, okay, the fight, uh, they're moving the fight from the 20,000. A part of that means that the fight could be moving from the 20,000 CT Mobile Arena to possibly the 16,000 seat MGN Grand which is more of the natural boxing uh, aura that we used to watching a lot of these fights from. And uh, uh, they, and some of the con- t- candidates that they looking at replacing triple uh, Canelo, if he can't go is a uh, guy, uh, one of the fringe contenders, Gary Spike Sullivan, 27 uh, in two with 19 KOs. He's 33 out of Ireland. And they're looking at him to fight there. Okay. He, he's supposed to be uh, fighting. He's supposed to fight on May the 4th on golden boys ticket. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. Then another prospect was Jamie Mugaya, 28, no, 24 knockouts, 21-year-old. He's kind of inexperienced, so he'll have to move up and wait. Uh, and, and, and and I don't know if they consider it or not. Chances are they possibly not consider him. Then it's also middleweight contender Demetrius Andrade, 25-0, and 16 knockouts. He's a former two-time junior middleweight titleist. And he said he's ready, willing, and able to fight Golovkin on May the 5th. However, Andrade, a 30-year-old southpaw and a 2008 U.S. Olympic Olympian from Providence, Rhode Island, he'll get the call because he doesn't have much recognition. He might not get it because he don't have much recognition or anything like that. So it's interesting. So they're looking at a few things, uh, D.C., to try to make this fight happen. And another potential component is uh, out of Brooklyn, Sergei uh, Devrachenko. Uh, 12 and 0, 10 uh, knockouts. He's 32, a former Olympian out of Ukraine. And what no, so so they got a few options. Not nothing as appealing as the Canelo. So hopefully for boxing fans, we'll get that second fight if if Canelo can uh, come clean. Uh, let's move into our final comment uh, topic. Uh, uh, DC the undercard bout between uh, Alexander Plavakian and David Price went six rounds. With the mean Russian bulldog knocking that guy <laughs> the hell out, man. You seen that fight, man. The blind bomb. <laughs> what do you think about that fight? Because to me, that was the fight I really want to see with pa- Parker and Joseph. It didn't happen. But well, at least think, we got uh, that middle. I think fight. Parker and fight. Joseph should have fought for six rounds. And they should have put that on the main ticket. Uh, it's pretty entertaining fight, man. Uh, and that, that little... Short uh, Russian guy. I don't know his name. I wasn't familiar with Poplak. Yeah, man. only only one loss now, and that was against Klitschko. That's a worthy opponent so, to lose to. Hey. Uh, the blind bomber. All right, man. <laughs> you know, uh, whatever he, you want to call him. He said he don't, don't want. He got a nickname. He says he don't want to fight nobody else. If in his next fight, he wants to fight Joshua. Well, this That's should line says. it up, man. It would be an entertaining two, fight. I was, he, he's I'm, a brawler. I'm man. gonna tell you this right now. Two fighters that JJ will not fight will be Pavodkin. And while I guarantee you that they, they do not want that fight anyway, thank you for listening to us on the Sports Cone Big Q and the Guy. Uh, if you love the show, remember to donate at patreon.com slash PRO Media Network from me and DC. Peace. You are listening to the PRO Media Network, the next level in entertainment. You're listening to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys on the PRO Media Network.